Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here. And if you're watching this video, you clicked on the video guide link. And we're gonna be walking through how your grades are calculated each quarter here at school. So before we get going through the, the calculator guide steps here or what this stuff over here is, here's some important notes that you need to know. All of your assignments, whether it's formative or summative, are going to be out of 100 points. So you're not going to have some assignments that are 10 or 20 points or 50 or 25. Everything's out of 100 points. So all of the formative assignments are equally as important to one another. All of the summative assignments are equally as important to one another. But because they're all worth 100, the fact that they're weighted means a lot more. So what does that mean, weighted? Well, your formative assignments are worth 30% of your final grade for each quarter. So whatever your average grade is, we're going to take 30% of that, and that's going to go towards your final grade. Your summative grades are worth 70%, meaning after we average out all your summatives, we're going to take 70% of, of those percentage points, and we're going to add that together to get your final grade. So we take 30% of your average formatives, we take 70% of your average summatives, we add those two numbers together, and that would be your final grade for the quarter. So if you're listening to that and that doesn't quite make a lot of sense, that's okay. We're going to go through an example here and all I'm going to do is follow these steps here. So everything I'm doing is following steps one through five. So I'm going to start by picking some random assignments that we might have in class. We might have an amplify assignment where we learn about force and mass and velocity. We might do uh, a study guide about uh, natural selection um, or there's another one about energy we do in the very beginning. Um, with each unit that we do, we'll have some study guides to get ready for our tests and some in-class activities and so on. And like I said, for each assignment, it's going to be out of 100 points. So same as 100%. So let's say in your first one, you get 100%. Your second one, you get a 90, 80, 70, and 60. And if you notice the assignments, as I'm putting these percentages in, you'll notice here you have an average score out of all these assignments of 80%. Now, the weighted grade means they're taking 30% out of that 80%, meaning 24 is 30% of 80. So that means this 24 is going to go towards your final quarterly grade. And let's say you do another assignment and you get 100, obviously that percentage is going to go up. So you went to 83 and 25. But if you have another assignment that you don't do really well on, well, obviously it'll bring it back down. So 1% and 21. Now, Let's get into the summatives. These are going to be your big grades. These are going to be your tests, your write-ups, your projects. So these are all the practice we do and the learning we do for all of our activities. These are all the show me what you learned activities. So maybe we have a test, maybe you do a write-up, maybe we have a project, whatever it may be. So let's say you get 100% on your first test. Awesome job. You'll notice that the average grade is 100% because you only have the one right now. 70% of 100 is... 70%. So your final quarter grade as of right now is 70% plus your weighted grade here, which is 21%. So 70 plus 21 is 91%. So notice as these grades change, it's going to affect not only your average grade, the amount of weighted percentage that's taken out, but also your final grade. So in the end, we have to do well on our summatives because if we do really well, let's say on an Amplify lesson, we get 100%. Notice your final score is a 79 as of right now. It'll go up maybe two percentage points if you do really well. Versus, let's say you do really well on a project, you went from an 89 to a 91%. We get more percentage points for that one. So, quick recap. These are all the assignments that we're going to be learning, all of the basic material and skills, and 30% of it's going to go towards your final grade. These are all the big tests and projects to show me what you learned. That's going to be worth 70% of your final grade. Those two numbers are added together to get your final score. If you want to play with this, play with the numbers, play with the activities, whatever it may be, to see what kind of grades you might get throughout the year, feel free. If you have questions, reach out. Otherwise, let me know if you need anything at all. Bye.